Hello, Joyce Herb from paperfinesse.blogspot.com, where I'll show you crafting tips for people with diminished strength and for everyone else because I do lots of techniques. Today we'll be making this card. I'm going to see if there's any way possible I can do this today without having to do a voiceover. So let's see. Okay, I'm starting with this background. And this came out of my background stash of backgrounds that I made and just put in a drawer. And it's on glossy paper. And I'm pretty sure this is alcohol ink that I dabbed on with a sponge dauber, a little one. And then I also dropped a few drops of alcohol ink on it. Okay, the first dye I'm starting with today is this one. Penny Black. And that's the actual size on the car. I don't know how much you can see it, but I'm going to show you here. This is the die. It's a half circle. This is what it looks like when it cuts out. And it's really, really easy to, like, they're falling out. So if you use a brush or a pokey tool, they come out really easy. This is what it looks like when it's all cleaned up. Okay, now what I'm doing for my card is I'm going to use two of them. So I cut off the corners on each piece. And I'm going to lay it on here. I'm going to glue that down. And I'm going to overlap this center and glue this one down. I may need to, let me see figure out where center is here. So I think I'm going to lose some of that top. Actually, I think I'm going to keep the whole top curve. I'll match this up and then cut this off at this curve here. I'm going to cut the bottom one off at the second curve in because I like my sentiment not in the center anyway. The sentiment's going to be this hello die from Pink and Man. And you can cut it two ways, either separately like this or the hello on the inside. This is the inside cut with the yellow that was on the inside. And I also did it with blue because it's the blue that I want. And you could, I could either lay, inlay the blue right into this one, but then you'd be able to see through the L's. I don't want that. So I'm going to use the solid on this one. And it's going to cover the bulk of that center. And then I'll see if I need to do anything on the edges. So. If this goes too long, I may need to cut this out and forward it, but let's see how we do here. I've got some glue squirted out. Now the best way to do this is if I would have thought ahead and actually cut this off of paper that had adhesive on the back, but I didn't do that. So I'm just taking a little sponge brush and trying to get over here so I'm going to make a mess. And I'm going to put a little glue on it. For an intricate dye, this is the fastest way for me to get glue on it. Okay, trustfully I got that. This fits exactly on the edge.
Okay, I'm putting that up just a little bit to cover some of that seam. And trying to center it here. I'll probably come back once I turn the camera off and add a little bit of glue underneath it. Trying not to be off camera here. If you can hold tweezers, this will probably be easier job with tweezers. I like liquid glue because, I don't know if you saw, but I had to move that H a little bit. But liquid glue lets you move it. This is a little crooked. I don't know if I can. Oh, hopefully I can. Darn it. Well, I'm not going to be able to move that. So, I guess that's where the handmade comes in, huh? I'm just cutting off any excess from the back side. Making cards using dies really is pretty easy. I just got stuck with the scissors there. There we go. It looks like I have a little bit over here. This is not the fault of the die. The die is perfectly straight. It's me. Now I have a card base cut four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half, and I will glue this right here. And I will touch this up a little bit, and I don't think. Anyone will ever notice my little goofo. There you have it. Here's a finished card suitable for any of your friends. The dies we used today was pink and main for the hello sentiment, penny black for the half circle. I hope you give this a try and use up some of your old background stash. Please like and subscribe and also leave a comment about anything that you would like to see or anything you would like to comment on. Have a wonderful crafty day.